So first off, I'm going to say something that should be very obvious, but it's they bought the game. Obviously, they can do whatever the fuck they want with it. Just like if they want to eat shit off the side of the road. It's their life. They can do whatever they want. This whole video is just my opinion on um, why I think that people that don't even play CSGO, they don't even use Steam, but they do $300 case unboxings week after week after week are uh, a little bit of a uh, cunt. Just a little bit. And this video is not talking about the people in FaZe or people like Immortal HD that actually play the fucking game. I mean, even if you have like 15 wins, dude, I don't really care. This video is talking about the people that don't even play the fucking game. They don't even use Steam. You check out their Steam profile, they have no games with CSGO and like 500 keys. Let's just have that sink in. These people are unboxing pinks, freaking the fuck out when they do it. Not because they want to go play with the pinks. Not because they want to sell it for for in-game money and get other games on Steam, they literally are unboxing things, freaking the fuck out for views on YouTube, and letting those things just sit in their inventory, right? And these people are spending real money. This isn't some, like, $5 bullshit. These people are spending, like, 500 bucks each video just for these views. I mean, like, 90% of them don't even have a fucking profile picture. What the fuck? Um, I would like to apologize for the comment that I just made. Many of my Global Elite friends are actually profile pictureless, and uh, I feel like I have offended them deeply, and I will be repenting. Very sorry. And I get it from a YouTuber's perspective. I'm a YouTuber myself. What's the point of uploading something that you get no views on? But you know what? I feel like there's a little bit of a line. Man, if you download Steam that you don't give a shit about, you buy CSGO that you don't want to fucking play, and put $500 worth of cases down just so you can sit there and overreact to a bunch of skins that you don't even give a shit about or really even going to do anything with, then you kind of pass the fucking line. And it's not even the money. If the next big trend on YouTube is ramming ping pong balls up your ass and shooting them out for fucking reactions on YouTube, there'd be fucking tons of people doing it. This is clear fucking proof. People picked up a game they don't even give a shit about on a client they don't give a shit about just for views on YouTube and are willing to spend quite a bit of money. I know a lot of them make a lot of money, but they are willing to spend decent amounts of money, even for them, on this bullshit. I guarantee you, motherfuckers would be lining up for those ping pong balls, man. And it would only be a certain amount of time after that before someone jams a fucking bowling ball up their ass. And I'm not joking about that. I mean, people do it in CSGO all the time. First, it starts off with $300 case unboxing. Now it's fucking $2,000 case unboxing. Every single dude wants to up the other one. Next thing you know, you see some guy fucking jamming five bowling balls up his ass and pooping them out, dude. I'm not joking about this. Afterwards, after his insides are completely non-existent, he would probably say something like, Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. He's just laying on the fucking ground. <laughs> He's like choking on his fucking blood. <sighs> Please subscribe. <laughs> Look, I hate to be that guy that's like, back in my day when everything was swaggy and dope. But, man, back in the day, people opened up cases in moderation and when times where they didn't give a shit, they had an extra fucking 20 bucks. And sure, they were still cool and sure, there were still people that, you know, bought an asshole to cases, but they weren't so hyped. And then people like Anomaly came out and they started making these cool videos of them unboxing asshole to cases and them reacting to it and it was pretty fucking funny. Now it's all these people that don't give a shit about the Steam market, don't give a shit about the Steam games, don't give a shit about CSGO, don't even give a shit about the CSGO skins they just care about getting views on youtube and it literally is fucking bacteria on youtube man and if you guys don't believe me go look up some youtubers that do this shit white boy 7th street he has like three fucking wins and he's on his 12th different case unboxing with like 200 dollars in each of them and just to clarify, this video is not shots fired at anybody that makes case unboxing videos. I know that most of the people on FaZe are legit. I know Immortal HD is legit. I know obviously Anomaly is legit. There's tons of legit streamers or YouTubers that actually play the game and also happen to do case unboxings and that's fine, dude. And as I said earlier, I don't care if you're good or bad. You can be silver fucking one with 3,000 hours and do as many as you want. This is just my opinion, but when you have three fucking wins, 
wins, and you're sitting there on like the 15th case unboxing, over $2,000 into this game without even using them, I kind of consider you a fucking piece of shit. It's the people that fucking vlog. They don't even have Steam, and they open it up just to make these videos. It's the people that their whole channel is dedicated to like Minecraft, and they download Steam just to get on this hype train. Or the people that have like three fucking wins, dog. Are you serious? And I know there's gonna be one dude that's like, well, maybe he's playing fucking gun game. Maybe he's playing casual. You're really gonna come to me and say that? Check their hours, dude. It's like 50 hours. I mean, maybe there's one dude that's played gun game for fucking 4,000 hours, but I really doubt that, dude. I really fucking doubt that. And do I honestly think making this video is gonna change anything? Of course not. These motherfuckers, as I said, would be literally shoving bowling balls up their ass if that was the next thing on YouTube. Bowling ball unboxing? Fucking holy shit, Jar Showdown. Like, that's the titles you would see if ping pong balls became a thing, which uh, they could, okay? Let's make that shit trend. But yeah, this is just something that's been on my mind recently. I keep seeing all these YouTubers with just like $700 case unboxing, and then you click on it, and it's like he's had one fucking win with like 20 hours play. Like, are you serious? And, uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking annoying, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, th hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And, uh, don't forget to like if you thought my commentary was amazing. Kidding. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and peace, peace. Bye-bye.